Special thanks to IXL Learning for sponsoring this video. School's out, summer is here, Zaya is doing swim lessons, and I gotta keep up with keeping her hair moisturized. So a typical summer day for us often starts off with hair care. I didn't wash her hair yesterday after she got out of the pool. So this morning I'm applying a hair mask, wrapping it in a bun, and just letting it marinate for the day. Okay, we're gonna let that hair mask soak in. I'll probably wash your hair like tonight or tomorrow, okay? At Zaya's Old School, they had a full summer long program where they basically just continued school hours all throughout the summer. So Zaya was still occupied during the day and it was really helpful for me because I still have a pretty busy work schedule during the week in the summer. But this year, this is the first summer that Zaya has a normal summer because she switched schools. So I've been looking for different summer day camps and things like that to sign her up for so that she has something to do during the week so I can work. But I try not to work on the weekends so we can have some quality time. If this were a weekday when Zaya had summer camp, we would definitely be rushing around a little bit more and just grabbing something quick for breakfast. But since we have time today, we're doing Zaya's favorite, pancakes. Keeping kids busy and avoiding boredom and just keeping the kids occupied all throughout summer break can be really difficult for parents in general, but also especially difficult if you are a working single parent because you're just trying to keep them occupied so you can do what you need to do. I find that just turning everything into an activity or a learning experience is helpful. And then we, uh, we need three fourths cup of milk. Something like getting them involved in cooking meals can help keep them occupied, but it's also just a really good life skill to learn. <laughs> I just threw the top on the floor. <laughs> can you see where you're pouring? Huh? Okay, stop. Let's start with that. You might need to add more. Let's get a whisk. Whisk it up carefully so we're not sloshing it around. Whisk, whisk, do it like a little harder. Make sure you're scraping the bottom so there's no powder at the bottom. Yeah, I think that's good. What are you gonna have with it? Eggs or sausage? Because you need some type of protein. Sausage, can you go grab that out of the fridge? Well, how many do you want? One or two? You're gonna eat four sausages? You're not gonna eat four? I think you'll eat two at the most. Two, let's start with two and two each. So let's put four on the plate. Two for me, two for you. Strawberries in your syrup how you want it. Okay. 
Zaya is seven years old now. She's more than old enough to be able to help with things around the house. So another big part of our summer routine is cleaning and just sort of keeping up with chores and tasks around the house, especially her playroom. Her playroom is probably one of the most difficult rooms that we struggle to keep clean. She has a lot of toys, a lot of arts and crafts, and I love that for her. She plays hard, especially now that she's out of school. She has more time to play and therefore more time to pull everything out and make a mess. She is obsessed with her baby dolls and her Barbies, and I want her to have those things that she loves, but I also want her to understand that you gotta take care of your stuff. So I have her take some time every day to clean up. We're even learning how to vacuum. And one of my biggest things with Zaya is teaching independence. I always try to teach her how to do things herself without my help. That way I can step away and handle other things while she does it. As a single mom, this is very important. When it's only us two in the house, I can't be right next to her, keeping my eye on her and helping her with every little thing all day. There's so many other things that I also need to be doing. Trusting her to be independent while I multitask is crucial. When Zaya woke up this morning, one of the first things she said is that she wanted to go to Target to spend a gift card that she got. I made a deal with her though. I explained to her the priority of cleaning up the playroom first and she did a really good job with that. So now we're off to Target. You have a gift card and do you have the cash dollars? Okay. Vacations and water parks and children's museums are great activities for the summer, but you can't do that every single day. So sometimes when you just need to get out of the house, a trip to Target is good enough. We had a few things we actually needed to grab anyway. And speaking of vacations, we do have a beach vacation coming up soon. So I wanted to look at swimwear for both of us. Like I said, Zaya had a gift card that she got for her birthday that she wanted to spend on some stuff for her baby dolls. And school might be out for the summer, but again, everything is a learning opportunity. You can turn anything into a learning experience. So I took this opportunity to explain to Zaya a few things about money and spending money, how to calculate what you can afford, how to make sure that you're making a thoughtful decision on what you're buying, not just blowing all your money in one place. It was time to check out. I let her be involved and learn how that process goes too. I know kids can easily get super antsy and grumpy when they're bored, especially during summer break when they're lacking that stimulation that they would normally be getting from school. If they're bored, things can go downhill real fast and something like a simple trip to the store can turn into a nightmare. So that's why I always try to keep Zaya involved, let her be a part of everything that we do, let her do things herself. That way she stays engaged, doesn't get bored, and hopefully we can avoid those types of attitudes and meltdowns. Now, when it comes to screen time during summer break, which I know can also be kind of a difficult thing to balance, I definitely let Zaya have a good amount of screen time. She's allowed to use her iPad and play games. She's allowed to watch TV. It is summer break after all, so I wanna give her that time to unwind and relax, but I also like to balance that type of screen time with educational screen time. So for that, we've really been loving IXL, and if you haven't heard of it, IXL is a personalized online learning program for grades K through 12. It covers all the main school subjects from math to science, language, arts, and I love the fact that Spanish is included too. This is perfect because Zaya has actually been learning Spanish ever since she was a toddler and I definitely want her to keep up with that skill, but I myself am not quite fluent yet, so it can be a little bit hard for her to just practice speaking with me. So I love the fact that IXL has these Spanish lessons. They are the perfect thing to guide her in continuing to practice her Spanish. Within IXL, there's bite-sized video tutorials, lessons, example problems, and detailed explanations that really just sort of feel like they're playing a game. It's all formatted in a super fun, easy to use way so that kids can master new concepts or reinforce skills. And I love the fact that it's truly personalized. It's designed to meet your child exactly where they are. So you can be sure they're being supported and challenged at just the right level so they can learn at the pace that's perfect for them. 
And for the parents, IXL automatically tracks the progress so you get these super easy to read reports. That way you can get some real time insight into what your child has accomplished and where they might need a little extra support. Plus Zaya genuinely loves the app. It's playful and engaging and it's formatted more like a game. So Zaya actually comes to me and requests to use it. Another great thing is that it's made for every learning style. So it works for auditory and visual learners. There's extended audio support in English and Spanish. So there's actually a lot on the app that Zaya can do herself completely independently, which is great for what I was talking about earlier as far as keeping her occupied while I go do other things. So I definitely recommend IXL. It's something you can definitely use all year round, but especially during summer break, it's perfect to make sure that your kids are still practicing their school subjects. So if you're interested, you can get 20% off of your first year with access to all the core subjects like math, science, and language arts. If you want to check it out, the link is in my description box. While Zaya was practicing her Spanish, I was putting together lunch and I just did a quick kid cootery board, which is just a charcuterie inspired plate of random things that I know Zaya will eat. She is kind of a picky eater and coming up with meal ideas all summer long can definitely be challenging. I just had to learn to stop worrying about what the plate looks like and if it feels a little bit random or weird, that's okay. As long as she has some healthy options on her plate and she's eating, that's all that matters. After lunch, she did spend some time by herself in her playroom just playing with her baby dolls watching cartoons chilling out doing what she wanted to do by herself and I feel like it's really important for her to have that alone time and like I said just be able to chill out and not have it be so structured but after a while she does get bored of just playing by herself she is an only child so she is used to playing alone to a certain extent but she also got used to going to school every day and having her friends to play with so I know it's super important during the summer break for me to play with her and just carve out that time to do some activities together. Luckily, we have that whole craft closet full of different arts and crafts and activities that we can do. Both of us are super interested in anything creative, anything artistic, so we usually bond over activities like that. If you've got little kids, I highly recommend keeping a stash of some sort of creative hands-on activities like this, whether it be Play-Doh, paint, markers, paper, beads. Mommy, I need help with this activity. I'm doing the jewelry um, bracelet maker. Okay. This braided bracelet maker kit thing was something fun for both of us to do together. It was a little bit complicated to set up, so I helped her with it, walked her through it, spent some time with her working on it. But then once she figured it out, she was able to play with it independently and it kept her occupied all the way until dinner time. And let's be honest, summer break often does not feel like a break for the parents. It feels like we kind of have to double down on parenting because the kids are home a lot more. So we have to find ways to give ourselves a break. So one way that I do that is I don't fret about meals. If I'm tired, we can pull something out of the freezer. Zaya requested chicken noodle soup out of the can, so that's what I gave her. Pre-prepared meals and things that are just easy to heat up definitely come in clutch. Of course, it's all about balance, but this is just just a friendly reminder, don't be so hard on yourself. It's okay to take the easy way out sometimes. After dinner, we ended our night on the couch eating honey buns and watching TV until it was time for bed. 